just taken the last of my cabbage out of my garden. There's about six, roughly six heads there. And I divided it between my dehydrator. So I have half, about half left here. Maybe a little over half left. And I'm just going to blanch this for about uh, maybe three minutes or so just to soften it up because I'm actually going to freeze this because we love roasted cabbage. Take some cabbage, put it in the oven, roast it up with some uh, carrots, sometimes some onions in there too. Oh, it's delicious. So I'm just going to get this in the water and blanch it for, like I said, about three, five minutes, not very long, just to get it soft. Now I've already, I soaked these overnight in salt water just to kill off anything that might have still been in there. And there was, there was this little tiny um, snail in there. So we got him out and he's back outside where he belongs. Okay. So just going to blanch this for a few minutes and then dunk it into nice cold water. So we'll be right back when we're ready to do that. Okay, so it's been blanched and now it's in nice cold water. And I'm just kind of stirring it around just to make sure everything gets hit with this cold water. And it's all nicely broken up. <laughs> it's pretty much broken up anyway. And my hands are clean. Okay. It still has its texture to it, which is what I was really hoping it would do. No idea now if you can see what I'm doing. There. Okay. Now you can. Okay, so what I'm going to be doing now is I am not thinking too straight here currently. That's okay. I need to drain this again. So, give me a moment. Okay. So, because I don't want that extra water. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to freeze this on to cookie sheets. So in this way I can kind of break it up between two meals. And this way it will be flash frozen and it will be a little easier to deal with. But there's the other one. Guys, my kitchen is a huge mess right now. Not even joking. Because I got lots of stuff going on here. Okay. Like I said, I'm trying to break this up between two trays so I have two meals of the roasted cabbage. Okay. There we go. Looks good to me. Okay, now I'm going to put these in the freezer. And I'm going to freeze these for probably three, four hours. I'm going to let these freeze for quite a while. Actually, I might even just leave them in there overnight. I don't know. We'll see. Just depends on what I'll end up by getting done today. So, I'll bring you guys back when I'm about to put these in the bag and get them ready for the freezer. So, we'll be right back. Alright. And, well, I let it go for probably five hours in there and I have my two portions here so these will be you know, one dinner one dinner kind of thing um, you may think oh my gosh that's a lot but there's five of us so this really isn't all that much actually um, so yes the leftover bits of my cabbage out of my garden is now in my freezer ready to be eaten for the winter so there we go I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you again soon. Bye!